It's no secret that recruiters and hiring managers in cybersecurity are looking for passion. Someone who's got it. Information technology? No. Fuego. <laughs> Not just a casual interest in, you know, paying their bills. How would I describe myself? Three words. Hardworking, alpha male, jackhammer, merciless. Insatiable. But someone who's willing to put in the extra work because cybersecurity is their life. And then she said, it's either me or cybersecurity. So how would you say this makes you feel? They want that person that just won't shut up about it. You might not see him, no, I don't want to brag or anything, but I escalated my career. <laughs> Anyways, you get it. If you don't have a portfolio and are complaining about not getting any job interviews, then shame on you. Shame! Shame on you! Get on GitHub right now, create an account, and start documenting all the crazy awesome stuff that you're doing so hiring people know just how crazy obsessed you are about the field. The most important part of doing anything in your future job, and now, is documentation. I know, I hate it too. But it's your life now. Embrace it, adopt it. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Just like I can't say investigated, it's fine, on my ticket notes at work, you can't just create a home network with multiple segmented networks that feature a DMZ honeypot and multiple ACLs that beautifully default to deny all with a sim for you to watch everything unfold like the madman you are. And just put built a home network on your resume. No, that's madness. And for once, not in a good way. Document every little thing that you do and why you did it. Do you think recruiters are gonna read everything? Hell no. They just wanna see that you put in the work. So, project one, build a home network. Do this first. If you only do one thing that I recommend in this video, it's this. You can build a network either physically with switches and routers, if you have the extra money and are willing to do so, or virtually using Cisco Packet Tracer. I used Packet Tracer extensively through my two years of networking classes that I took through my college degree, and it's glorious. And best of all, it's available for free. So get it, go to Cisco's site and start this course. What are you doing? Stop watching YouTube videos and just do it. Do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just do it! Download Packet Tracer and off to the races you go. Project two, build a sim. There's one thing more important than networking in cybersecurity. It's network traffic analysis. You have to know how to analyze network traffic packets. You have to understand anomalous volumes of traffic to very sus places. You see something hitting a dot RU domain? Super sus. Coming from a server? That's grounds to escalate to oh shit. You can download WhatsApp or sign up for the free 12 month Azure Sentinel trial period or set up Wireshark in our next project to monitor traffic. Project three, build a honeypot. What's a honeypot? This, but virtually. It's a controlled and safe environment to see how attackers will enter your environment. So download VirtualBox or VMware and download this honeypot onto it. Nah, it doesn't have to be that one. Any of these can work. Or you can find one that you like. Honeypots are used in real business environments to test to see who the f is knocking at the door right now so the security team can put proper mitigations in place. Project four, malware analysis. Grab your favorite flavor of malware and dissect it safely in a VM. There's special forensics virtual machines available, so get those. Go watch my basic malware analysis video right now and my advanced malware analysis video that will be released sometime between now and when I get it done. Malware is the second biggest threat we face as cybersecurity professionals, arguably the single biggest threat, depending on whether or not your employees are allowed to install whatever they want on a Friday afternoon just before you go on call Paul with the biggest threat usually being Sharon in HR. Project five, create a series of capture the flag challenges. It's a mix of networking and website building prowess in a gamified environment. If I had to go back to my senior year project, it would probably be to set up a capture the flag virtual machine as it combines my love of video games and my desire to collect badges, achievements, in order to prove my superiority to people that don't know or care about me. This doesn't have to be crazy complicated. Anyone can build a website. With Wix, you too can build a Swiss cheese WordPress website. So make a website, then make a page that you can only get to by altering the URL. Boom, flag. Here's a bonus project. Code something, like anything. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> what? Oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> we don't code in cybersecurity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Any coding project that you can get done is gonna make you stand out in your portfolio. There's tons of coding projects you can find on YouTube and GitHub. I always tell people that you don't need to know how to code to get into cybersecurity. However, you will need to know how to code eventually in the field to get you further into most roles in cybersecurity. And that was it for projects that you can add to your portfolio. Thanks for watching, everyone.